Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PCO Vivid Voltage video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a really cool Waylord Carp Towering Splash it's Telescopic Sight Krabby deck. Uh, yes, it is a Pokemon using Telescopic Sight again. Look, there's like a gajillion Pokemon in Standard that can use Telescopic Sight. And it just so happens to be one of them. Now, Waylord Carp does need 8 energy to pull off that Towering Splash, where it does 100 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We can power that up through, of course, Frostmoth. And we are going to use stuff like Krabby with Aqua Shower. Even we have a 1-1 one -one Orbital line to try to set up some numbers with Eerie Beam to make it easier to pull this off. And of course, if our opponent happens to bench cards like Dedenne and Crobat, or if they have G Guru in play, or just low HP Pokemon in play in general, if they don't play a Mew in the deck, Towering Splash is going to body them. And it's going to be a lot of fun to try to pull this off today. Um, and we can use Telescope of Sight to do 130 damage instead of 100. Of course, Telescope of Sight lets us do 40 damage to G's, GX's and V's with uh, Aqua Shower. So a lot of cool stuff we can do here. Um, and we'll try to get a win with this deck if we can. So before we get the video, guys, of course, check out the sponsor, Car TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PC show pack codes, get them over at Car guys. Car is selling codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are still looking to pick up any Vivid Voltage codes, make sure to get them over at Car Cavern. Or if you guys are looking for any other set code, whether it be Dark of the Blaze, Champions Path, or Team Up codes, get them over at Car Cavern, guys. If you do get any codes over at Car Cavern TCG, guys, of course, at the checkout, you guys can use my discount code, code LDF, to get yourself a nice 5% discount on your purchase. Support the channel, help yourself out, and help out Car Cavern, too. So shout out to Car Guys. Check them out. Use code LDF. They sell codes online for the cheapest. Check them out. Also, quick shout out to GG Tour real quick. There is a $3,000 prize pool tournament coming up once again on the 23rd of January. Um, it's a pretty big regional style event since the last ones went over really well. So if you guys want to sign up for that, link will be down below. And when you do sign up, there's a $10 entry fee. You can use my referral code LDF2 to get in for $2 off. It supports the channel also. And the top eight is casted by me and Azul GG again over on Azul's Twitch. So if you guys want to go sign up for the tournament, check it out down below. Use referral code LDF2 when signing up. All right, let's look at the list here. So this is the list I'm using. Uh, kind of went back and forth on whether or not I like the Orbeetle. I tried a few versions about the Orbeetle. I didn't really like it. The deck actually honestly felt like I was missing out on some numbers. And I added in the Orbeetle, and the numbers actually started to get fixed. And I was finding that, okay, now Pokemon are getting in range a lot easier with Towering Splash. Um, now, if you're going to play Orbeetle, you could try to fit in like an Aurora Energy if you want. Um... I don't know what I would cut for it. Now, the, one of the main issues with this deck is we try, we have to try to get a Towering Splash off. So we need a total of eight energy, which is a whole lot of energy. Um, so we have to play cards like Training Court, E-Retrievals, 11 Basic Waters. So if you want to play an Aurora Energy, be my guess. It's not the worst card ever in this deck. Because again, using G-Max Wave is really good. You can't build up Orbital with Frostmoth, but you can still attach the energy, you know, two turns in a row. It's not that hard to pull off. Because your energy attachment for turn can be on the Orbital, and then you can use Ice Dance, obviously. But you can try it if you want. It's not the worst card ever. I, again, I don't know what I would cut for it. Um, again, the idea is we just Aqua Shower a couple times and then go in with a Towering Splash. Wailer Carp, pretty cool too. We can do Super Splash for 180 on like a tag team and then like finish them off by going like Fionn. They make they go to the bench and then we, you know, like Orbital, Towering Splash, KO them. That's why the Fionn's in the deck, so we can use Towering Splash on a Pokemon in the active that we want to, you know, hit for 130. Uh, then we got Dedenne Bat. 3-2 Frostmoth. Since Krabby is a 1 energy attacker, we don't need to play like a heavy Frostmoth line, I found. Uh, going to the items now, we got 3 buckets, 2 retrievals, 4 Great Ball, 4 Quick Ball. We only have 15 Pokemon, so in my opinion, Pokemon Communication is not a good card in this deck. I don't like playing Pokecom when I'm playing any less than 17 Pokemon, because a lot of the time, the comms never work. So Great Ball, I just find it be more efficient uh, when you're not playing 17 Pokemon or more for Com. 2 Switch. Two training courts, two boss, four Marnie. I am playing a Misty Lorelei. I'm trying this out in the deck and get us three waters, and it also lets us reuse Towering Splash. So, if we ever want to do double Towering Splash, there we go. Um, just an idea. It this is something you can cut. Maybe like a Nessa could be in this deck, or you could try to fit in a uh, another Energy or an Aurora Energy or something if you want. Then I got four Research, two Air Balloon, four Sights, eleven Waters. And again, Aurora Energy you can put in here. I don't, I'm don't. thinking about it now. I don't even know if I like the Aurora Energy because every deck plays Hammer, so the card will never work anyways. Let's be honest. Crushing Hammer is too popular. Um, you could play Grass Energy uh, because you have Training Court, so you can always get the Grass Energy back. So, But then that's this one less Water. I just feel like it's inefficient. So I don't know. Anyways, let's go try the deck. Let's see if we can actually win a game by going Towering Splash for the win. I'm hyped to try it out. All right, guys, getting into our first match with Waylord Carp. Here. We've lost the coin flip, but we do get to go first, which is generous. That means... Maybe they're playing a Welder deck then. Ooh, the Krabby Beetle start. It's actually a pretty of a tough decision to decide. I think we'll start Krabby because if he's playing a Welder deck, I don't want to start with Orbeetle. That's just not a good idea. I don't even think we bench it. I'll right, hold off on benching it before we see where our opponent flips over. Okay, it's a Pika deck. Can we be Pika? Probably, maybe, maybe not. We have a Quick Ball. Get rid of Marnie. 
Get a second Krabby. I'm gonna put that there and pass. Touch the bench just in case we get knocked out. And now we can be Pika Rom. Oh, they got hammers. I forgot that card existed. Whee! I wonder if they're I wonder if they're gonna Marnie me. Because I was actually gonna maybe play the Marnie instead of the research next turn because I wanna save the energy retrieval. But we'll see. Good thing Whaler Carb is not weak to lightning, right? That was one of the issues I had with these these decks. Pika is just such a good deck, you can't really play Italian or Lapras, seriously. You can't play weak guard because they just play hammers. So, it's not going to work. Hopefully, they don't find a Chaotic Swell. I don't really want to waste this Training Court. Actually, I guess that's fine. Let's just play one. There's another Hammer. It's fine. We got the Training Court and the E-Retrieval. Do they get the Boltund off, though, is my question. They do have a... Okay, that can get the Dene, which is what we want them to bench. Wait, what did that get? That's not a Dene. That's a Mew 3. Tell me they're going to mention a Dene here. Yes! There we go. Now, hopefully, they whiff a... Ooh, wait, why would they not play the Quick Balls? I'm so confused. If they have a switch here, I'm going to laugh. They're probably not going together. Yeah, there it is. Never punish. So our game plan would be knock out Bolton, knock out Dene, knock out a 3-prizer. Will that ever work? I don't know. Pika's a pretty hard deck to beat in general because we don't even have bench protection. So we always get tag bolted here, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to play that. I mean, I give them a free lightning energy. They're going to find it anyways. They play, they play so many energy. There's no way. And they have Coco. It doesn't, literally doesn't matter. Didn't matter. We did get a site, which is good. We didn't get a follow-up supporter, which is not good. We do get a Fion. Actually, I honestly don't mind playing this here. They'll just bring in the Pika Rom, obviously, and then full blitz tag bolt me. Our hand is dead, which kind of annoys me. But I do actually want to hit this bolt on. Because they're just gonna knock me a bolt storm, right? We're doing 10 damage to it. I actually let's just whatever, let's just go for it. This could be a tough matchup, but this is where I wish I maybe played an energy for the Ore Beetle. Maybe we should have played it. I'm just going to play this, maybe bait them into Marnie and me, because this hand is unfortunately dead. We got no Pokemon to bench or draw cards with. Alright, we're getting there, kind of. Krabby's doing his thing. Unfortunately, Pika Rom's going to tag bolt us. There's not much I can do about that. Actually, we have to evolve. We should evolve this thing into an Orbital VMAX. We don't get bodied by, uh... There's the Hammerhead. Doesn't matter. As long as they don't swell Marnie me into a dead hand. There's the Marnie. Okay. The bait works. Hopefully we don't whiff the supporter. Come on, Marnie. No dead hands today. The only problem is they... Uh, maybe they just don't tag bolt. I don't know. Pretty good hand. Actually, if they play a swell... Doesn't matter. Alright, here we go. Where are they gonna put the damage? Or the energy. The damage? What the heck am I talking about? Yeah, okay, me too. That's fine. So that means they're not gonna... Well, they could still... They haven't played an E-Switch yet. We'll see. I am a little scared of Tag Pult. Not gonna lie, that it does kind of scare me. There's a Marnie. Nah, we're gonna full set in research. I'm gonna get the VMAX if we can. Okay, I was trying to, trying to go into this hand, but it's like... Not bad. It's Eerie Beam. I mean, I don't know if we can beat this, though. Like, Tag Bolt just... We don't play Mew. Tag Bolt just kind of ruins us. I'm just going to hold the hand and just go for the attack. I'm not going to bother benching Whaler Carp. Oh, they could Marnie us again. I don't know. But Tyrant Splash... I mean, if they don't pop the Coco, actually, I guess we could Tyrant Splash. But that's only going to take three, four, four, five prizes? Five prizes. Maybe we should bench it just in case. I don't. I think I just want to save the hand though because we can. I don't. If I go, if I get great, I'll great ball get a frost moth right. Then I play it down. Then they tag bolt it. We only got two moths. I great ball for the Dene. They tag bolt it. So I think we just save the hand and hope they don't Marnie me. That's. I mean, that's the standard format right now. Hope you don't get Marnie, but we'll see. We're getting some damage on board. How much HP? One thirty. One more hit on the Mewtwo. No, that's not gonna work. Mewtwo has enough HP to take a hit from another sight shower sight. Towering Splash, so it's not gonna work. They, I mean, I think we're gonna fall short on this, guys. They, I mean, we needed them to have, like, another low HP Pokemon. No! Why would you Marty me, bro? My hand was bad. At least to him. Dang it, bro. And, yep, there's the dead hand I was looking for. And there's the swell. Alright. This game's probably over. We probably can't do anything. We got Marty into a dead hand. It's probably game over. I mean, I kinda wish I played a Roar Energy now. 
Because if we had Aurora, we could have maybe tried to attack with Orb Beetle. Would have been okay, I guess. Yeah, there's a Tag Bolt. I mean, we lose, right? I... How ah, we'll see. Tag Bolt... There's no way we can stop Tag Bolt. There's a Great Ball. There's a Crobat. All right, that's not Tag Bolt. That's not, like, the best target for Tag Bolt, I guess. His hand's kind of awkward, no cap. I hate wasting these things, but... Gotta do, gotta do. That's just bolt on that stage, people. There's the Krabby. Actually, no, we... Okay, we don't actually don't even need to go Krabby. I think what we're gonna do... Is... Pray they don't Marty me again. And I'm gonna retreat into the Krabby. And then next turn, pray I can pull off a Waylord Carp. I don't know if we're going to get 8 energy, though, guys. We don't have a training court. We're down to E-Retrieval. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. I mean, hopefully they don't Marnie me. If we didn't play a supporter, right? I don't think we did. Can't remember. I'm hoping they don't Marnie me, though. I mean, they're probably going to tag bolt me, but they might not have a switch out. Maybe... Well, they could just hard retreat, I guess. Ah, there's the Eldegoss. There's the boss. Yeah. It's not good. They can't win the game, though, thankfully, but... If only this was down a turn early. If this was down a bit earlier, guys, our game plan would have been set in motion. Yeah, it's going to knock out Crobat. What are they going to target, though? They're not winning the game with this. That's why I didn't obviously go to Dene, because I figured they were going to tag Bolt. I mean, we can't win, right? It's like... It's... I'm... Maybe... I don't know. I'm trying to think... I don't think we can. If we can... I mean, not even if we can Tower and Splash him at this point. We're just so... We're very far behind. So if we had a training court, Tower and Splash would be a little easier to pull off. I think, well, we do have enough energy left. We'll see. Oh, it's not enough, though. Yeah, we don't have it. We needed a straw supporter in our hand here to pull this off. If we had, if this, okay, if we had a Research or a Dedene or a Whaler Carp in play, we could have went for the, uh, we could have pulled off the Tower and Splash. So the best we can do is pray they don't have a boss in hand and go Whaler Carp and hit them for... Oh, well, we can knock them out, actually. But if they have a boss, they just win, right? So, so like... Oh, we don't... Do we have enough energy in the deck? We have an E-Retrieval, 4, 6, 8. Oh, we do have enough energy in the deck. Okay. So we gotta just knock him out and hope that puts us over the line. And then hope they don't have a boss for game, which they probably do because, I mean, very likely. If they don't find a boss here, I'll sell a quick ball. And we gotta hope to draw like a supporter to try to go Tyrant Splash. We could win next turn, maybe. I mean, we have to draw something and we have to also survive the turn. Um, can they choo-choo us? They could choo-choo us. We need to switch the Whaler Carp too. I mean, there's like, I can't see how we're winning this, right? We just tag bolt. We had no way to stop tag bolt. We had a lot of damage in play. A lot of damage, actually. In fact, Krabby probably could have killed the Dedene. Yeah, Krabby could have knocked out the Dedene with like another Eerie Beam. So we have to go knock out Mewtwo, hope they don't boss for game. There's nothing else I can do. And then we gotta hope that we can find a way to go into the Whale Lord. It's our last ditch effort. Slow decks like this, they can't compete with fast decks like Pika. That's just the state of the game. There's a research. That's a huge help. Energy. Another research. Okay, so. If we can research into the last switch, and they don't boss us, we might have a shot of winning this. There's like a very... There's a window. There's a window. We have to also not get stamped into a bad hand. We still have a lot of supporters. It's not that bad, actually. We just gotta hope that hand... They, don't, they have a five-card hand. Do they have a boss's order? Probably do. Pika usually plays three, four boss. They probably have the boss... If they don't have it, there's a chance we can pull this off and win the game. We also need to find our last switch. But there's, there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. Saying there's a chance, bro? Come on. Nah, you don't have boss. They're taking a while to play their card. Do they not have it? They are down at a Dene and an Eldegoss. So all, have the, all they have left is a bat. They don't have the boss. Oh. Do they play Great Catcher? That wouldn't work, right? Never mind. We might win this. They could hit their second stamp, though. 
they could find their second stamp. Another win con we could have done is if they had more damage on the Dedene, and we could have knocked Dedene with like an Eerie Beam, we could have won the game with like a Super Splash knockout or something. I guess one way we could win, we'd have to, we could boss knock out Pika. But they're they're not gonna go into the Pika here, right? Because they know that if I find Switch and I Eerie Beam it, we would knock it out with Super Splash. So they're not gonna go in with the Pika ROM. So they have to go Bolt Hunt. They're gonna win next turn no matter what. So we have we just have to get the nuts. We just need we can pull this off. We just need to find that last switch. And oh my god, we top deck it. Okay, you know what? Chill out game. We might actually be able to pull this off. We still have our Dedene too. If we actually pull off a win, I'm actually done. Did we get it? We have enough energy in the deck. We're one short. No, dude. Not like this. Now we have... Oh, we can Dede change into the... Uh, into the retrieval. It's not too bad. Actually, wait a minute. I don't think we can win because they'll just... They're going to feel into the... We're going to feel them and they go into the Dedene. Yeah, I think we actually can't win this. Because if I do Fion, they're just going to go into the Dedene, right? Oh, no. Not like this. Hold on. So we can put Fion back in the deck. Yeah. I think they're just going to Fion to the Dedene. Ah, right, we'll see what happens. Oh, I was about to say, it's that last card. Oh, no, but we can tell Scabic Sight. That's not going to matter, right? We can't win this unless they don't go into the Dedene. Oh, man. We were so close, guys. So, the only way I can win this is if they don't go into the Dedene. Well, I, we can do double Fion, but that's not going to do anything. So, we just got to hope they don't go into Dedene here. If they go into Dedene, we lose. If they go into Pika or Eldegoss, we win. Oh! Let's go! Oh my god! Let's go! Oh my god, I can't believe they actually did that. Yo, oh, what? No way, bro! Why would... Dude, I totally didn't expect him to do that. What? Let's go! Let's go, Waylord! Oh my god, I did not expect him to do that. Why would he do that? Oh my god, let's go, dude. We pulled it off. That was a miracle. I mean, that was an insane top deck. That switch top deck was absolutely nuts. I genuinely thought there was no way to win that after that tag bolt. But oh my god. I mean, we would have lost that game no matter what. He just had to not go into the Eldegoss. He had to go into the Dedene for us to not win the game. Wow. I can't believe that just... <laughs> what? Let's go. All right, guys. Let's try out the Whaler Carp deck again. We got a dub with it against Pika, which I thought... I thought we were going to lose that for sure. I really did. Uh, we do win the coin flip here, which is good. Let's see, we're playing against this time. And we got the Krabby start, bro. The Krabby. I kind of want to play four Krabbies in all honesty. It's just a really good Pokemon to open with. I wanted to play Amazing Rare Jirachi, but I honestly found Orbeetle will be better in this deck, and... Oh, another Mewtwo. Could be another Pika deck. Hmm. Kind of want to get Orbeetle here. Kind of don't. I'm just going to pass. I want to hold the hand. I don't want to quick ball away any of these cards. I think we just hold, see what they have, see what they're playing. They're playing WAP Mewtwo. Okay. Hopefully they bench to Dene's. We'll see. Then there's a quick boss. Probably going to get to Dene. Can we beat WAP Mewtwo? Probably, right? We'll see. Well, one thing we could do is like hit them for 180 and then go 100 damage on them because, you know, that's perfect math. The only problem is they play Keld. They're not going to bench that, are they? There's no way. No, dude. That's actually bad because Waylord cannot attack this thing. Krabby can. Only doing 40 damage, though. Not good. We need them to bench a Dedene here. Really want them to bench a Dedene. Two Dedene. The Dedene in a bat would be great, too. 
Like, our wing con can be knockout Mewtwo, Snom, and then, like, a Dedene, but we need them. There we go. There's the Dedene. So now our game plan can maybe work. This could be tough, though, because once they set up damage with, uh, Frostmoth, we're in trouble. They could bench another Snom, though, which could be pretty beneficial. Looks like they are going to go Starmie here. Yeah, the Keldeo's... I wish they didn't bench that. I don't know why they benched it, to be honest. They probably honestly shouldn't have, but... Unless they, like, know what I'm playing. It's, like, annoying they actually benched this. Let's see what they, uh, Cherish Ball for. Another Mewtwo? Okay. If they bench another Dedene, that's pretty good. Then we just knock out two Dedene and then maybe the Keldeo. I don't... We just can't damage it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. They can't attack me this turn. They didn't get a Starmie, which is pretty nice. Let's see. We draw... There's the water. I will attach. Uh, quick ball. I'm trying to think what I want to get rid of. I guess we get rid of training court. We have another one in the deck. I'm gonna get another Krabby. I actually wouldn't mind doing Fion. Actually, maybe we should have done that. I'm gonna bench Crobat just to try to get the telescopic sight. Here we go. I'm just Marnie them, I guess. Put Viridian in a way of water energy. Don't mind that either. There's the Frost Moth. Uh, I'm not going to bench that just yet because they could boss go Rocket Splash. I think we're just going to... Aqua Shower. And just set up damage on the board. Unfortunately, again, we can't we can't hit this Keldeo with Towering Splash. If they bench another good Pokemon, though, that's fine. They could bench another Snom. You never know. Uh, we'll see. Maybe Krabby doesn't get KO'd here. They could boss a Snom here, which... I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to lose our Snom. So they knock out Snom. Krabby gets another Aqua Shower off. I mean, this game might be closer than we thought. I mean, Armin Kong could also be knock out both Mewtwo's. Whaler Carp isn't very tanky here, though, because they can get a lot of damage in play. They do put that on. That doesn't make a difference, though, right? Oh, it does. We have to hit them again with an Aqua Shower with a Telescope Excite. But maybe our Wing Kong can honestly just be knock out both Mewtwo's. But the problem is that Rocket Splash can always one-shot our Mewtwo's. So it's, like, kind of a hard matchup. It is kind of hard to say the least. We'll see what happens, though. They have a one-card hand. Maybe they... If they bench another Dene or a Crobat or an Eldegoss, I'm feeling pretty good. They haven't played a support yet. They could be stuck. They could just knock me out with Rocket Splash. We'll see. Last card in their hand. What is it? It's an E-Switch. Okay, so they didn't have a supporter, which is kind of good. Um, They could just knock me out with Sonic Edge, unfortunately. I, I mean, this is... I don't know, man. This is, this is kind of a tough matchup. If we ever use Whaler Carb, we might just use it now. But before they build up too much energy. Let's see we top deck here. Sight? Great ball. Another Krabby. There's the Whaler. I'll take the Whaler Carp. Not sure we're going to use it, though. We're definitely going to research. We have nine energy in the deck. Yeah, I think we're just going to do another Krabby here. And then we'll go Whaler Carp next turn. I don't know. This is just not looking good. Got sight. We didn't get a follow-up supporter, unfortunately. Yeah. This one might be a tough one, guys. Just saying. I'm going to play this. Even if they Marty me, we can power up the Whaler Carp and at least hit them. I really, really wish I had... I really wish I had Fionn. If we had a Fionn right now, I'd be cruising. I mean, I guess they just retreat to Dene. But it's like wellness energy they have to work with. I really wish we had a Fionn right now. It'd be so nice. All right. Aqua Shower. The best we can do is knock out Dedene and Frostmoth. I guess, like, Mewtwo has 190 HP, but that's, like, I don't know. We're not going to be able to get there. I think, guys, we're going to lose this. This isn't going to be, like, the peak of game. If, okay, if maybe if they somehow never get a Rocket Splash KO on my Whaler Carp, maybe. This is going to be a tough one, though, for sure. I think we got to go Whaler Carp, and then we have to go with... Uh, we have to go one way. We have to probably use both Whaler Carps here. But we have Crobat. So they ever knock out Whaler Carp, they just win with a boss, right? It's the Battle of the Frost Moth decks, and they have the boss. Bruh. That's fine, though. They can't knock me out, right? So, it's not the end of the world. They could retreat into Keldeo here, actually. If they do that, then we just go back into Krabby, which actually kind of works out in our favor. I think we have to do double Waylord. I think that's how we're going to win this. We have to go double Waylord. They can, uh, they can just Sonic Edge me for 110 and then finish me up with Rocket Splash or Resolute Blade. Yeah. This is a tough matchup, guys. Oh, they're actually going to GX me now. I don't actually agree with that, but okay. We got a training court. They have an energy in the discard. Eh, I'll do it. Sends out a card. I'll take it. 
We have to play the Lorelei too. Come on, game. Come on. We can win this. How many retrievals? We got two. Again, guys, it's going to be a tough one to win for sure. I don't even know if it is winnable, if I'm be honest. It might not even be winnable to begin with, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Best we can do is hit them for 180 damage. They knock me out. And we can knock them out, so... Maybe. We still need a top deck. We're still... We're both in top deck mode, right? So, we'll see if they... No! They do it to Dene! Which... Oh, actually, you know, maybe maybe that's good. We can go Krabby. Krabby and a Towering Splash. Well, actually... May, no, maybe we can win. Because instead of doing that, we could just... We could try to Fion and knock out the Mewtwo here. We have to... We, I mean, if we don't draw anything, we're going to lose, right? We have to draw a supporter. Yeah. So I guess our win con is Towering Splash them next turn. But we have to Fion this Mewtwo if we're going to win the game. But they could just do the same thing and bring in the Dedene. Oh, man. But we... Oh, we need a Sight, though, to kill the Dedene. Dude, that big charm is actually huge. Well, if they retreat to Keldeo, then we can just win with Tyrant Splash because this Mewtwo will be on the bench anyway. So that means we don't have to find Fion. This is all banking on the fact that we're going to draw something, though, right? If we don't draw something, we're probably going to lose. This matchup would feel a bit safer if they couldn't ever two-shot me that easily. We'll see. They have a two-card hand. They might not have a supporter here. If they're stuck, right? Because all they need is a boss, right? Knock out Crobat. But they could also just win by... Oh, they got a research. They found the research. And we're over here struggling to top deck something usual Pokemon game. We gotta feed them the Frost Moth and hope they don't have their last boss, which they undoubtedly do. But, if we can draw a supporter here, there's a chance we can win. So yeah, we need to draw a supporter to have a shot of witness. We draw a supporter, we get an air balloon or switch. We get enough cards to pull off the Tower and Splash. We take out the Dedene with the Sight. We take out the Mewtwo and we take out the Frost Moth. If not, we can go Krabby and hope they don't have a boss in their insanely massive hand. We could draw Marnie, though, I guess, to get rid of that. We could promote Krabby. That's one more energy we have to find. I think we have to go Frost Moth. I think, I think we have to go Frost Moth here. Okay. We just need a top deck. Did Dene one time? Great ball. No, you're supposed to be a good card. No. Uh, no, dude. Not like this. Ah, oh, we lost. Good old, good old top deck mode. Love to see it. So we lost, right? There's nothing we can do. They, there's like a, there's probably like a 2% chance they don't have a boss in their hand, right? I mean, they don't have boss, they don't have boss. Now I wish I went Krabby again. We could have got more damage on board. Um, especially they don't have boss here. If they have boss, they have boss. There's nothing we can do about that. Their hand is... Well, if they have a boss, technically they... Oh, they can kill Crobat, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. They can't... I was thinking they can't one-shot me. They, they're definitely going to one-shot me. We definitely lose this if they have a boss. If... Ah, that sucks, man. Great ball, you're supposed to be a good card. That sucks. If, uh, I guess, like, one thing, we could have drawn a quick ball. We could have went training court quick ball for Dedene. It's got a pass. Hope they don't have boss. We did get a double with the deck. We kind of came close. We, we were just, like, one little thing away from winning this game. One little thing away from winning. We had the numbers set up. Unfortunately, we just kind of ran out of steam, and we just gone to a dead hand so we're probably gonna lose here unless they somehow don't have a boss in their insanely big hand if they don't have it they can't dig for it so it's like they have it they have it if they don't have it we draw something we could win this there's no way bro their hand's huge if they don't have a boss bro i'll give away a quick ball kek w what they actually didn't ha yo there's no way they don't actually have a boss in their hand what I'm not giving away a cook ball, by the way. I'm just kidding. But, all right, yo, research? No, dude! Well, we tried. We tried. We just needed to top deck something, and the game was like, nope, no top decks for you. Anyways, that'll be it for today's PC video, guys, on at the deck. I'm very busy today. I'm just getting at my PC, so... I don't know if this will be the last video that I'm making on my MacBook, but the first video on my PC will be my OPOP League match um, against another big YouTuber. 
And then um, my PC should be ready by Monday is when the PC videos will probably be out. Again, my OPOB match should be up on Monday against another YouTuber. You guys can guess in the comments who it is. It is not someone I've played against yet. Just saying. That's a spoiler alert right there. But anyways, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Waylord site. We tried. We won a game with it in actually a pretty epic fashion. We almost took down another deck. If only the game was like, yo, I heard you uh, I heard you were dead drawn. Yo, here's a research. Here's a dead Dene. Uh, it is what it is. Sometimes you brick on PC Joe. It happens to everybody. Um, but anyways, that'll be up the video. Uh, overall, this deck was a lot of fun to play. Again, it's more of a niche archetype, but it's kind of cool to try to pull off a Towering Splash one last time before Wailer Carp ends up rotating. Again, I'm probably going to do a video on like all the tag teams eventually that are like, I'm going to try different tag teams out in different kind of deck ideas. So we got the Wailer out of the way. So Wailer Carp has been covered. So now we move on to what? What's the other tag teams? We've got Blastoise, Muck Muck. Mew3, Raichu, Raichu. There's a lot of tank teams. Anyways, that'll be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Sub down below. Help me in the road to reaching 14k subs. Thanks for all the support on the content. As always, guys, check out Car Cabin. Check out the GG Tour Tournament down below. If you sign up, use referral code LDF2. And again, guys, I will see you guys very soon. I'm probably going to record another video, so this probably won't be the last video on my MacBook. But get excited, guys. The PC is almost here. And the quality update is going to be pretty bonkers. I'm excited for the future of the channel.